hey Amanda, um, nice job here. I really like how you resolved some of the uh, areas you were um, looking at. So I just have a few suggestions. Um, so the first thing um, I think I mentioned before is um, this angle right here, since it's in the foreground, is, is really kind of abrupt. I'm wondering if you can, um, you know, kind of wind this down so it's over here. Um, you know what I mean? So, so it, you know, just kind of just continue it down to this point. Or you could kind of transition this into the same color so this edge isn't, is, um, you know, um, you know, doesn't <clears throat> stand out as much. Um, another thing with um, this sign, if you make this this side bigger, um, um, I wanted to just show you this to give you some info. Um, you know, your sign, if you make the back side a little bit smaller, and I'm not saying that it has to be this extreme, um, then it'll look like it has more depth. It's just kind of the laws of one point perspective that, you know, things in the you know, further away or smaller. So it kind of goes the same with one point perspective. Um, yeah, that's kind of, you know, there's some good things learned in drawing. So, um, so anyway, you might want to just, I think it would help, um, the sign look a little bit more realistic because you've got it here, you know, you've got this, you know, getting smaller here. Um, so, you know, another thing I thought too, I wonder, um, if you curved this just a little bit here, I'm just wondering what it would look like. It might, I don't know, it might not do anything, but, um, and the other, the other thing I was going to, um, mention is you might want to move the, um, the kick and country closer to the girls just because, um, it's kind of out here by itself. It's, you know, it's that kind of law of proximity, you know, there's all these little graphic design laws. Um, so you might want to do, you know, you might want to move it over a little bit. I, I mean, I, I don't know what it would look like here. It's probably too close to the moon. I really like the moon as well. Um, so yeah, other than that, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, these, I don't, these don't read to me as anything. I didn't know what it was first. So you could do a little bit of research on the water to see. I mean, I think if you made a couple little marks, it would, um, you know, it would just help a little bit. I mean, I think you're on the right track here. I just, I would have to look it up to see what the easiest way to, to do that would be. I mean, it's not super necessary either. Um, okay, so anyway, I just think if you just do a few little things, um, I would also probably not use this um, font. I'd probably use a pretty simple font too because you, you just, this is becoming more of a focal point, I think, that than you want it to be because it's kind of in the middle. It's kind of bright. So, um, yeah, you might want to just do, do something so it doesn't, because you really don't want your eye to go here. You want your eye to be led through here and up through here. And it pretty much is. And then, and then the way this, this moves down and around and comes back through here, um, really works well. So, um, yeah, so overall, I think that just right in here, there's a little bit of tension, um, that I think would, you know, be pretty easy to clear up. So anyway, let me know if you need any more, need any more feedback, um, um, yeah, I'm around as you know. Okay. So, um, yeah, nice job.